I think like a week ago maybe, I did a poll on Instagram and I asked you guys how you'd feel if I made a video on something that was personal that I'm not ideally comfortable talking about. And a lot of you guys, actually like 95% of you guys said yes. And most of the people that I'm friends with and you guys also, you said that if I'm not comfortable with it, I shouldn't do it and I should wait until I'm comfortable talking about it. But um, I realize if I don't get up and do it, I'm never gonna do it because I'm never gonna really make an initiative to try and get it out there and to talk about it because I wanna be able to help people because it's something that a lot of people struggle with. And I just wanted to start this video by saying I love you guys and um, I hope that you enjoy this video and if I say something that can help you I really hope I can and if you ever want to talk to me you can talk to me in the comments down below or you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram and DM me because I do look through DMs or comments and I would love to talk to you guys so if you want to do that you can do that and my Instagram is underscore Brianna Rose with two E's underscore so yeah and if you are comfortable with sharing any stories that are relatable to mine, just feel free to comment down below and let me know. You don't have to go into specifics, but you can just let me know if you struggled with anything like this. So let's get on with this video. So recently I have been more focused on my fitness and my health and my weight. And a lot of people around me will tell me that I look okay, but I don't feel like I look or the way they think I look. That makes no sense. I don't feel like I look how they think I look. So if someone will tell me, oh my gosh, girl, you are so small, but I'll look in the mirror and I don't see that at all. Like I don't see it. I just see the imperfections and the flaws. And that's something that I've been struggling with for about like a year and a half now. And it's will probably be going on two years in like next, sometime next year in the summer. It'll be going on two years. It's something that I've just been struggling with for a while. And it's like, it's hard for people to tell you to kind of like try to get over it because it's not something you can just instantly get over. Like my sister gives me analogies all the time. She said, it's like telling someone with depression to be happy. You can't just tell someone to do something because it's just, it's not how that works. And so for me, I struggle with my weight, how my body looks, my self-image. And I usually talk to my family about it or my close friends, but I like, I don't, that, that's it. I haven't talked publicly about it. So this is the first you're gonna be hearing of it, but I didn't get diagnosed with this because I'm, it's like one of those things you don't really need to go to someone to know. And a lot of people that I, I know, or one person in particular that's quite older than me who has struggled with eating disorders or having an eating disorder, um, noticed that I like show signs of having one and I show signs of having body dysmorphia, which I know I don't need to go some somewhere to be told I have body dysmorphia because it's just, I, I know. Um, and body dysmorphia is basically where you perceive yourself, like your self image or how you, let me just, let me search this because I know body dysmorphia is like if you look in a mirror and you nitpick at every little thing, it doesn't have to necessarily be your weight or like your stomach area, it could be your thighs, your lips, your eyes, eyebrows, hair. It's just like you nitpick at every single thing constantly. Um, it's a mental illness involving obsessive focus on a perceived flaw in appearance. And so for me, I kind of, I'm more focused on my stomach area. And I know years ago, I was a lot heavier and I'm not now. And that's because I've gotten more into have like having a healthier diet and being more active and changing my fitness up because I was, oh wow, I have no idea what just happened. Um. I was not as active as I am now, but I noticed too that it was kind of like a drastic change. I was slowly going into the direction of losing weight and it was like a slow, healthy way. And then somewhere during the summer, I just like something happened and I don't know if it was involuntary or voluntary. Like I don't, I don't know if I did it on purpose, but for some reason I was just like not eating as much food as I should have been. And I don't know, I was exercising a lot. I was outside a lot. I was walking a lot. I was active and there was never really like, I never made time to eat. So like, I would eat something, but then hours later I would end up eating like an apple or a banana. And then that was it. And then I would eat, um, a veggie patty and then that was it like I, I don't know I just, it was weird and I would barely eat anything and I 
I don't know if that's even a thing, but I just know that I've struggled with body dysmorphia. And there was a point, yeah, like I was saying, where I wasn't eating as much food as I should have been. And that's kind of how I started losing more weight drastically. And that's why everyone, or when I would look at comments, people would say, she's looking gaunt. She looks like she's on the verge of eating an eating disorder because she's always constantly, constantly, constantly like obsessing over this. And it's like, it's not something you can really control because I mean, it's, it's just there. And no matter how much you try to like not think about it, it's hard to not think about it. And um, I would read comments and I saw some comments like that and people were just like, no, she's just, she's just healthier. She changed her lifestyle. She changed her diet. She's more fit now. And someone said that they had someone in their family who I think is a doctor and has helped people that have struggled with eating disorders. That it looks like that's what was happening to me. And I mean, it could have been, I'm not for sure because I didn't go to like a doctor to be told because I hate doctors. And sometimes I want to go to like a doctor to talk to them like a therapist or something. But at the same time, I'm just like, I don't want to because you're inviting a stranger into your life to talk to you about things. And I just don't want them to, I don't know. I, I just, it's scary. It's, it's scary. But I just know that this is something that a lot of teenagers these days struggle with because sometimes people want to fit in or sometimes people just aren't happy with themselves and for me I just want to be happy with myself and content and I understand that I've that a lot of people think that the key to happiness is being tiny I don't necessarily think that's what it is and I'm pretty sure if I ever get down to my goal of having like a four pack or like a six pack and muscles that I'm probably not going to be as happy as I thought I was going to be and I won't know until I get to that point, which is going to probably be a while from now because I want to do that a healthy way. I'm here to say that you're not alone and that it's okay to not be okay and that if you do ever want to talk to somebody that there are people you can talk to and you can talk to your family about it, your friends, you can go to a therapist, talk to a therapist about it, a doctor, and yeah, I love you guys so much and... I hope that if you are struggling with anything that you do get better and that you'll have a content and happy life. And I also wanted to have or give you guys an update. I have started, I mean, it's it's scary, but um, I have like a fear. I've always had a fear of like weight gain and stuff, but I have gained some weight. Um, I don't know if necessarily if it's muscle weight or not, but I've gained some weight and I'm eating normally throughout the day, so I'm eating like an actual breakfast, a nice lunch, like a dinner, and I'll have like some snacks in between. So I'm doing that, and I'm not really being hard on myself and as strict as I was before because I realized that was not the best way to go about things. So you may think that food is not the answer to any type of weight loss or muscle gain, Food is the answer. You gotta eat food because if you don't, then your body is just gonna malnourish. And that's not what you want. You don't wanna end up being weak and having fragile bones. But you gotta eat food to, uh, you know, gain muscle and stuff like that. So yeah, hope I helped you guys or you can relate. And yeah, okay. Bye. We got power out here, don't we? Yeah. Mm, now we have a generator with uh, working some things. It is uh, annoying. That's not. What a mess. Right. See, I don't know. It's just this power. Power is just making me really mad and cranky. Yeah. Because there's nothing to do. Mm. Taking my anger out on. My veggies. Alright, I'm gonna go okay, here and check on the generator. And I got it out here. It's outside. Oh, noisy. I just got the dehumidifier running because I want to dry that room out. Because of the. Yeah, because of the water incident. Because, you know, was, the water was coming in, it was like, what, a couple inches and got the vacuum. Right? Thank Jesus. What? I'm gonna cry. The power's back on. Uh, yeah, well, you know. No, it's not. This isn't the power, it's the darn generator. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Uh, Where is it the power? 
Yeah, why is the oven on? Hmm? We'll figure it out. We'll figure out why the oven's on. It's complicated. <laughs> oh. I'm happier now. Happier. My mood's changed. I'm in a good mood now. Really? Yep. I'm in a better mood. Because right now we have just the necessities running. But now the power's, the main power's back on. So, got accessories running, main power's back on, so. Thank goodness. Now we can cook something. I can shut the generator off, I guess. Save, save the gas. Then we just ran and got more gas for the yeah. generator. And then we just got back. It's like, what? <laughs> it could go off again. I know. But I mean, there's people that got a lot worse than us. Mm -hmm. So, we, there's no sense us complaining about it. Because from what I've been seeing and hearing and... No, I'm glad it's back on. It's just crazy. <laughs> See, I, don't even, I forgot how to use this thing already. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what's the matter with me. I forgot. I don't, even, I don't even know what I'm doing. How do you shut this off? I was hitting the wrong button on the top. I think the last time I did that, it messed up the video. Uh -huh. I got to hit the right button. It's on the, there it is, on the side. I don't have my glasses. I can't see. All right, here we go. The moonwalk. It's very hard to try to do the moonwalk, especially on skates. So thank you. If you ever do see this video, thank you for trying to get me hooked on. No, thank you for getting me hooked on trying to moonwalk. Walking on the moon. It's so much fun. You feel lighter on the moon. You know that. Owie. I have it's to grab so the camera because there's no way that Brianna, you, there's no way you could film yourself, like record yourself doing this. And I guess tripod, but it's easier to track you this way. <laughs> been busy and I'm dealing with insomnia, so I've been drinking these herbal teas that help, you know, help me with sleep. Hopefully it'll work because this is the first night trying to try that stuff because this is a different work schedule for me so I'm having trouble sleeping so that's what's happening so got the camera now oh you're doing it I just thought I just uh, Wait, did I really do it? it looked like you got it for a second there wait really are you sure towards the end yeah. oh are you thinking about right here you think about that part right here head up that part it kind of looked like that you were turning into the moonwalker it's so hard wait how did i do that oh that's a break of my oh no yeah so we had another what another power outage two days in a row power's out like forget it why is it gonna happen two days in a row but you know what i can't complain because people got it worse with the storm that they passed through Oh yeah. But you know, it's just that it's unexpected. We didn't we didn't realize that you know we were going to be so affected. But the winds got really bad. There's like debris everywhere, so we try to avoid it by going inland and away from the beach. And then we still get a lot of that wind. So we're going to be here for a while until that's all cleared up. And then I got to take care of some things here because we had some flooding downstairs. So we had water get in the house, so we've been dealing with a flood issue and got that under control. So been been busy, been busy doing a lot of things around here, right? Oh, you're doing the moonwalk. You got, oh my gosh, she's got it and I didn't have the camera on you. Uh -uh. Why? Hey. Why is that happen? Yeah. What did I do that for? I was Wait, talking, I should have been listen. showing her the did camera. I, did I actually do it? It looked like the moonwalk and I was talking in the stupid camera and I should have been facing it towards it's you. things that I'm not going to be able to do it again. Ay, oh, ay, ay. You might as well. Like, I can't. I, I can't do it again. I just literally did it. I tell you, I suck with the camera. I, I, I used to be good oh, with watch. this. Turn the camera back around towards I, you. Watch me be able to do it. She wants me to turn. All right, I'm looking at. Hey! Oh, why not? You're just messing with me. I was, like, I was gonna look with no. Did I actually do it? You didn't have the the same form. No, that's just more like I don't know what is I going on here. Did I just do it? 
Before? It looked like it from the corner of my eye. Then I turned the camera around. All right. That's a lot. I got it. I got it. It's a long day. We were out playing. There was a long, yeah, this when you have a seven-year-old, a six-year-old, and a three-year-old playing today as well. And then, of course, Brianna, you were skating. Yes, I was. So. I remember <laughs> freaking going there. Yeah. My Fitbit had said that I had burned like 1,700. I left there and my Fitbit had said I burned 2,740 calories, which means I burned about 1,000 calories skating. And I was like, whoa. Wow. It's crazy, man. I don't even know. Time just goes by so fast. I think it was about a week ago. Is that right? Am I right? Uh, anyway, we had a lot of rain over here, and we thought coming here we'd, we'd get away from the shore, get away from South Carolina, and just go inland and avoid all that, you know, because we don't know what's going on. But come here, we see flooding in the basement, and yeah, so I've been working on that and trying to get that taken care of. And it was coming in to the floor, have the dehumidifier running. But I, what I had to do is get this spray foam, because that was like last minute thing, it was going on so fast. And I sprayed it in there, because this pipe that comes down, there's a hole that's cut out in the cement slab. And uh, the water was just seeping out of there, and it was just getting all over here, it was all over there, it was going to the walls, and it was just like stressing me out. And so, that's under control, and I've used the uh, vacuum cleaner, one of these water vacuums, like, you know, one of those hoovers right there, you know what I mean? So that's been sucking the excessive water, but just running back and forth with water buckets. And that's just been how it's been going since we had a lot of downpour rain and, and heavy winds. Power, the power was out and uh, had to run the generator. And it's just, it's just crazy. I wasn't expecting all this, but you know, it could have been worse. It really could have been a lot worse and people have had it a lot worse where they are. So, you know, I can't really complain much, but just having that happen is just, it's stressful considering that I'm trying to, uh, you know, sell this house and uh, move on so I don't have to worry about the, the expenses of keeping this house. You know what I mean? I just want to get it on the market. And if, you know, there's w issues with the water getting in the house, we're going to have mold. So what I'm thinking is the way the land is graded here, it's like the water, it's going, it's coming down from that pipe, the, uh, the gutter over there. You know, it's going down and it's just puddling over here and puddling in this corner and then it's seeping down the wall and into the floor under the slab and then after it gets out of the slab it's going all through the basement so I've been working on that issue and so far it's uh it's under control I've been dumping the buckets from the dehumidifier like a whole lot when it first started but that spray foam that insulation it expands as it dries so it's just pretty much locked in that water so it doesn't come through and luckily I got it in time. Plus, I had an issue with that stuff. It got all over my hands, and I'll tell you what, it took me two days to get it off my hands because it was like the, it was an emergency situation for us, and like we didn't want water getting under the floor and then molding up and everything. So it was very stressful. But that's what's been going on. You know, we try to get away from South Carolina, just to go inland, away from the beach, and and stay here while this Hurricane Michael was coming through. And, you know, the next day we discover, you know, after the downpouring of rain and heavy winds and the power goes out, that's when everything started. But anyway, other than that, been very busy with the new job. And you guys know what I'm talking about if you watched the previous recent videos of this new job I'm doing in the technical field. It's a government job. And they started increasing my hours this week. So it's just a lot of thinking. It's a lot of technical stuff. And it's just keeping my mind working. It really is. It's keeping my mind busy. So been doing that a lot and uh, still in the orientation phase of this job and the way it is with the orientation if you watch the other videos like I say I'll just kind of just bring it just the points up again just in case you don't have to go looking for the other videos but anyway after the 30 days if they like me then I get hired permanently if they don't then farewell so this orientation is not only does it let me know how everything runs and learn everything about this whole organization it also a way to test me to see if I'm what they need so that's what's going on so busy with that and it's kind of hard to grab account 
camera and help Brianna with YouTube. And, and like I said, this, this time was coming because I've been very busy with my other jobs. And it's just, that's been the way it has been for the last, I say, year and a half. It's just, I've been super busy and it's just been getting busier and busier. And I've been just having more responsibilities. And it's becoming a point where I don't even have time for the camera anymore. And it's right now I got the camera because you know what? I, had, I, I just got finished with my work. And it's like, you know what? I've grabbed the camera because I'm like, honest, actually got to go back to work again. I'm doing two shifts in one day. So I'm like in between. I have my break. So I am just doing that. And then I got to go back. And then same thing until Friday afternoon. And then I'm free for the weekend. So when it comes to the weekend, I'm just so geared up about doing family things that I don't even think about grabbing the camera. But that's my free time. Even after work during the day, you know, I still have my time with the kids and everything. It's just that keeps me busy. And I just want to be able to say hi to you guys. And I'm still around. And I don't know if Brianna's gonna put this in her vlog or not. I don't know because you know she's like, hey, Dad, I just recorded something uh, and she wanted me to look at it, so I looked at it and you know I was like, yeah. So it's very, it was definitely something that Brianna. What in the world's going on out here? It was definitely something that Brianna ha has been having on her mind, and now that she shared it with you guys, if she has the time to edit me in. Then you'll see me. If not, then I guess I'm the dad who disappeared off YouTube. <laughs> That's just the way it is. It's her thing now. You know, like I said back in December, it's like I, I just don't have the time with the other responsibilities and this whole new job just adds more to my schedule. So that's how that's going, guys. All of you amazing and it's nice to see you guys out places. I'm getting less and less recognition from you guys. So I guess that's because I'm not on YouTube as much anymore. So I guess that's what happens. But uh, once in a while, when you guys do see me and say hi, it means a lot to me. So don't be shy and say hi. But any, anyway, I got to go. I got to take care of things because, you know, I only got a short window of time before I got to go back to work. And then, of course, I got other jobs that I do, you know, web designing and uh, uh, of course, I watch kids from my friends, and then I got bus duty, and I got to take care of my own kids. So, you know, this is a lot going on. But take care, and that's all I got to say, I guess, for now. I think we got another storm coming, so we'll see how this... <laughs> uh, the, the glasses, they came in. Finally got them, and uh, these block the blue light, 100% of blue light. So it helps me, especially if I'm doing a technical work with the computer, and I end up working a late shift, that it does not affect my melatonin production. This way... I could be able to get a better night's sleep. I'm feeling like this might help, you know, because I've been having insomnia and I've been doing a lot of uh, research and uh, I got to try to avoid the blue lights in the later evenings so that my body can start adjusting for the night. So, you know, computer screens and all that stuff, even watching like movies or something late at night, I, I got to block the blue. So that's why I got this.